Hello and welcome to the lecture on Transpose of a Matrix Algorithm and Complexity. I would recommend you to watch the previous two videos on sparse matrix before we proceed further. Let me recall this transpose of a sparse matrix, the idea behind transpose of a sparse matrix. So here we have a triplets, triples representation of the sparse matrix. This representation is the matrix A. So in this matrix A, we have the triples representation. Okay, so the first row of this matrix The first row of this matrix is 6, 6 and 8. So what is this? Number of rows, number of columns and number of terms, non-zero terms. Okay, so now this is the triples representation. In row number 1, column number 1, we have the element 15. So we have 8 such terms. 8 terms, non-zero terms are present in the matrix A. This A is the triples representation of a sparse matrix. Okay, so now we have to find the transpose of this A, matrix A. We will find a matrix B which is a triples representation again. Okay, so what should B consist of? The first or the zeroth row of B will consist of the number of rows, number of columns and the number of non-zero terms similar to A. But what will be the number of rows in B? It will be equal to the number of columns in A, right? So it will be 6. So what will be the number of columns in B? It will be the number of rows in A. So we interchange the M and N here and then the same number of non-zero terms we will be having. Is it clear? So this is portrayed in this algorithm here, right? So, A is the matrix that is represented in the sparse form. B is said to be its transpose. And M, N, T is assigned A of 0, 1, 0, 2 and 0, 3. So, we are given the matrix A and we assign the values for M, N and T. And what is B of 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3? As we have mentioned these, a B of 0, 1 is this. 0, 2 0, 3. So, these elements are assigned in the second step. Hope it is clear. We are checking if the matrix is a zero matrix. So, what is a zero matrix? So, what is a zero matrix? A zero matrix is when we have the number of elements as zero. When is the number of elements zero? When this term is 0. Okay. So, we are checking if the number of terms is 0. If it is 0, then we have a 0 matrix. If we have a 0 matrix, then we cannot perform a transpose and we come out of the program. Okay. So, now let us uh, let us now find out what is B. If we don't have a 0 matrix, then we proceed further to find the transpose B. Okay. So, what is the transpose B? Transpose B is obtained by taking each and every element and then performing its transpose. But how should we perform transpose? According to the idea described in the previous lecture, we will first pick all the elements in column 1 from A. Okay, we will first pick all the elements in column 1 in A. Right? Then we will find the uh, transpose. We will interchange that is row and column and then enter it in B. So, column wise we will have to pick. So, note here we are picking every column. So, 1 to N. We have to iterate from every column. 1 to N. So, in the first time iteration it will take the value 1. And then now we will have to iterate for all the non-zero terms. Okay, for all the non-zero terms. So, A of P comma 2 equal to column. So, we will check for every non-zero term 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 8 we will check if its column value p comma 2 is this so p comma 2 if every element we will check if it if it belongs to the first column if it belongs to the second column this comparison is to pick all the elements that belongs to a particular column N now 
if it belongs to the first column okay so in the first iteration we will take them and then we will assign it to b okay we will find its transpose and assign it to b how to find the transpose now if this is present in the first column then my first row will be 1 1 15 then we have this element which belongs to the first column so we will now interchange the row and column 1 5 the element is 91 right so this iteration is over now it will check for elements of the second column it will take this element 2 2 and 11 so in this way we will be continuing is it clear so this is about the transpose algorithm what is the complexity of this algorithm we see that this is the major major calculation that is performed and how many times is this performed n multiplied by t times okay n multiplied by t times therefore the complexity is dependent upon n and t okay if t is equal to m multiplied by n then what happens the complexity is approximately n square m which is more than usual complexity which is n m in regular transpose method regular representation if we take the regular representation of the sparse matrix then we have only this much so what's the problem okay so this algorithm has a complexity n square m provided t equal to m plus n when t approaches m plus n m into n what do we mean by this we have many non-zero elements when we have many non-zero elements the time complexity of this algorithm increases okay the time complexity is very much okay but there is a better algorithm which can give us a complexity n plus t proportional to n plus t so what do we do so this algorithm we will call it as fast transpose and we will discuss little about this algorithm in the upcoming lecture thank you